If you guys didn't know, Arturia just dropped the Analog Lab Play. This allows you to download this plugin and use a lot of presets for free. I'm gonna give you the download below, so no worries. And uh, let's hop straight into it. So this is shocking. Um, it seems like they're trying to compete against labs from Spitfire. So this plugin is built, in my opinion, like those microtransactions like in Fortnite, where you know you would play the game for free, but in order to, you know, you could buy stuff, but it's like microtransactions. So that's how this is built. I love the uh, business model because now we can explore a little bit more and all have fun. Okay, so firstly, this is called uh, Analog Lab Play. Now I have the pro version, so it's it's reading a little bit different on the interface. So it's a little difficult for pro users to figure out what how to get to the play presets versus the pro ones. So in this case, I'm gonna say any presets on the screen that you see may or may not be included. So I don't wanna um, make you guys think there's stuff in here, but I know that this one is on their sales page. Okay, so let's make a little loop. It sounds really good, so it reminds me of those Juno brass. Okay, so let's make a chord progression. Let's do, um, maybe let's try, let's see here. Let's do a minor, ninth. You already know the chord progression I'm about to do for you folks who watch. Okay, so let's do a minor nine. We're gonna go into a dominant ninth, half step down, and then we're gonna go into a major ninth uh, to wrap up this chord. This is a two, five, one for those who wanna know. Let's R&B it up to revoice this chord. And then we'll add a top line melody. Now, the, my CPU is going nuts. OK, so I don't know if that's my recording device, um, but the CPU is pretty high. So let's up the audio buffer. Let's add a top line. CPU's at 55. I'm just monitoring things because there's a reason some stuff is free. Now, this could just be, now this is the pro version, so it's um, a little taxing. So I just want to say that that's the only thing I'm concerned about. Not that it's a major turnoff, it's just for producers to play, you know, we have to play in real time. I'm up in the buffer length, but in reality, um, a lot of producers wouldn't do that, especially if you're recording with MIDI. And all I have is um, my... Now, again, it could be, let's be fair. Let's open up activity monitor just to double check. I don't want to talk trash about the company, but let's see what's hogging up my uh, CPU. Okay, so to be fair, it's not the actual plugin. It's my OBS recorder. Okay, so I stand corrected. Okay, let's drop this down a key. Let's see what we can do on the actual front panel here. Um, you can control certain parameters, which is basically all you need is the brightness of the filter. And the cool part is you can record this in FL Studio. If you hit record, notes and automation, you don't have to constantly move this. You can just record it. Okay, and then go back. And you can see this knob moving. So it lets you have a more expressive melody. Um, and as you can hear, this OBS is, is destroying my computer. Okay, so you can also mess with time, which is the envelope over the filter. I'm just gonna move these knobs to see what, if we can change out the sound. to blow up my computer here for y'all. Okay, so since this is like about to blow up my computer, let's give you a solution here. What you could do is right click consolidate tracks from track start, and we're going to just save. All right, so now we have the waveform and audio. And we're going to not have as much CPU usage. So that's how you solve. If you ever get stuck with high CPU, you could render it to audio just in case. It's probably other programs taxing your CPU. Like in my case, it's OBS going crazy right now for whatever reason. It just wants to go ham. 
Okay, so just double click in here and we're gonna reverse this. Now you have a Drake vibe. You could also time stretch this, go to mode, stretch mode, time, and just lock this into a different bar. I'm gonna pitch it down 300 cents. Okay, so I'm just showing you different things you could do. Let's see if we're gonna blow up my computer. Let's see how far we can push it. Um, let's, to be fair, I'm gonna up the audio buffer length to like a thousand. All right, let's pray for my computer, y'all. Let's go to a new pattern and let's try some more presets. And what I'll do to be fair is copy the same MIDI and paste it. Okay, so again, I don't know all the presets that come with the free version versus the paid. So in this case, I can't say that the next presets you hear are from this plugin, um, but if, from what I've seen on the sale page, I think they are. It's a monophonic synth. I was wondering why it's so quiet. It's the cutoff filter. I'm actually gonna clone this so that we don't have any movement over that knob, to be fair. So again, if you're a pro user, it's kind of difficult to figure out what is happening with the plugin. You're like, how do I get to the analog lab play stuff? So when you open it, it shows the browse menu. Um, but if you hit X, it shows you this screen. So it looks more like the analog play. So it took me a while to figure that out. It's not very clear, but regardless. Let's just listen to some presets. So these are untouched presets. A lot of these are mono. That's pretty cool for funk. Pretty cool sound. I like this soft pad. Let's see what the vintage knob does. Can't tell what it's doing. Some kind of filtering, maybe like a slight feedback. So again, you gotta think about all these knobs. It's not just the preset. You can also manipulate these knobs here for a different sound. When I turned up that reverb, that thing blew up. like whoever drew the interface. Wow, super 80s pulse bass. Again, a lot of these are mono sounds from what I'm finding so far. What I do like is the interface and the mood it gives you and it just makes you focus on the sound and not so much tweaking all the tiny things. It makes it very easy to change the sound. So again, like I said, I don't know what's included in Analog Lab. You're gonna have to go to the sales page to find out all of the free presets. Oh, here's the Travis Scott preset right here. That's fine. That one's good. This West Coast bass. So, so far, so good. That one's cool. Okay, so I'm not going to sit here and waste 20 minutes going through presets. You guys can have fun going through the sounds. I think it's pretty cool to be free. The fact that it's free is pretty amazing. So I'm going to let I'm going to leave the link below for you guys to check out. Thank you for watching. It's game from busyworksbeats.com. Peace.